The AnchorFast Oral Endotracheal Tube Fastener provides a convenient means to hold an oral endotracheal, or ET, tube securely in place without the use of adhesive tape. The oral endotracheal tube fastener allows repositioning of the ET tube in either direction along the track without removal of the device. The AnchorFast oral endotracheal tube fastener holds tubes securely ranging in size from 5.0 to 10.0 millimeters inner diameter. The gliding tube shuttle allows the ET tube to be easily repositioned from side to side without the removal of the device using the AnchorFast Oral Endotracheal Tube Fastener. Before applying the device, the patient's skin should be clean, dry, and free of oily residue. Do not use skin gel wipes or other skin preps with the Oral Endotracheal Tube Fastener. Remove the product from packaging. Remove the release liners from the two skin barrier pads. Pull back gently on the skin barrier pads so they are out of the way to prepare for application. Center the device on the patient's upper lip so the non-absorbent upper lip foam lightly touches the skin. Press the two skin barrier pads on the patient's skin and hold in place until they adhere well. This should take approximately 30 seconds. Squeeze the tabs on the sides of the gliding tube shuttle and move the clamp along the track to a location adjacent to the ET tube. Remove the release liner from the ET tube wrap, exposing the adhesive. Before applying the wrap to the ET tube, make sure the ET tube is dry and free of any residue. Position the ET tube under the non-slip grippers. Loop the wrap tightly around the ET tube. Avoid including any other tubes within the wrap. Pull the remaining portion of the wrap through the security clamp. Secure the wrap by snapping shut the one-click security clamp. An audible click will be heard. Secure the neck strap by inserting the narrow end of the strap through the plastic loop on the track. Fasten the narrow end of the strap using the hook and loop closure. For greater comfort and security, adjust the straps on either side. Do not over tighten. Allow two fingers width between the strap and the back of the patient's head. To reposition the ET tube, squeeze the gliding tube shuttle tabs on the outer edges and move in either direction along the track. Reposition the ET tube from side to side at least every two hours or more frequently if the patient's condition dictates to minimize the risk of injury to the skin and or lips from unrelieved pressure and shear forces. Release the security clamp holding the wrap in place. Carefully remove the wrap from around the ET tube. Release the neck strap by unfastening the hook and loop closures. Remove the skin barrier pads by gently peeling them away from the patient's skin. AnchorFast Oral Endotracheal Tube Fastener. For more information, visit Hollister.com slash AnchorFast.